Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to use Photoshop Elements to reduce noise in a picture. You see here there's a lot of noise in this picture. If I zoom in, you can really see this well. There we go. Lots of noise in here. Let's just fit back on screen, and we'll go ahead and reduce that effect. Now, the first thing I want to do, though, is to improve the image a little bit, and let's open up our Layers right-hand side. And before we go any further, let's make a copy of this duplicate of the background. Right-click, Duplicate Layer. There we go. So we're going to have this layer saved as a safety. Okay, we're we'll working on our background copy up here. The first thing I want to do is to improve the look of this a little bit. Let's start off by doing a bit of noise reduction, standard noise reduction. Go up here to Filter, come down to Noise, and then Reduce Noise. Here we are. Now notice this little checkbox right here, Preview. This doesn't preview in here, it previews over here on the main image. If I uncheck that, you can see a lot of noise in there. If I check it again, we've gotten rid of a lot of that noise. Now, I'll just center all these things. There we go. And I'll click on Remove JPEG Artifact. I don't think we have any of those, but just in case, do that as well. And we don't want to preserve details. And the reason for that is that's going to be preserving a lot of that problem as well. So move Preserve Details to the left. Notes that already goes a bit more smooth. We want to reduce the color noise as much as possible. There we go. And that gets it a bit better. And then the strength, any place around in the middle is probably okay for this. Let's just go ahead and preview that. So here's before and there's after. That's already a real nice fix on this noise reduction, but we can take this a lot further. Let's just choose OK on that one. I'm going to adjust the values in here a little bit and go up here to Enhance. Let's come down to Adjust Lighting and we'll do Levels right here. Now I'm doing this right on this layer for a specific reason. Normally I'll do this as an adjustment layer, but I want it on this layer because we'll be using this layer in just a moment for some additional work. Let's just brighten this up a little bit in here and let's increase our darks a little bit. Just making the image a bit more interesting, looking better and bring our lights up a bit. Okay, I think that's better, a bit more contrasty and that helps the overall look of the picture. That's good, let's double check that. There's before and there's after, getting better. If we can go further still, make a copy of this background right here. Duplicate layer, choose OK. And we're going to blur this layer. So I'm just gonna name this layer Blur. There we are. And then for this, go up to Filter, come down to Blur, and then come down to Surface Blur. And what this does is it tries to preserve the edges, but blur things inside. Already it's a lot better, as you can see. Again, here's our preview before and after. So we're getting closer. Now I have my settings real low on this. Radius way down to five pixels, and I have my threshold down at 15. So you can keep these relatively low. Let's set this at 10, a little better. So keep your numbers really very low here. If you go too high, things begin to look kind of weird and plasticky. There you go. So radius 5 and then threshold at 10 to 15. That usually works out pretty well. So there we are. Now we are losing a little bit of our crispness in here. We can bring some of that back again. And the trick here is to make a copy of this layer. Right click, duplicate layer. There we go. We're making a copy of our blur layer. I'm going to call this one sharpen. And on this layer, go back up to filter and come all the way down here where it says other and choose high pass. This is a really strange filter. If I go here to the top end, this kind of looks for edges. It gives you a high contrast on your edges. We don't want to have very much in here and the radius, just a radius of two is all we really need. Just really showing us just those little edges in there. That should be plenty. Choose okay. Now it looks strange. So we need to blend this layer now into the blur layer underneath. And for that, we use the blend modes right here. And it'll be one of these blend modes down here, the soft light to linear light. One of these will be the best one. It'll depend upon your image. So we want to try each one and see how that works. Hard light is pretty good. Vivid light is too much. Linear light, that looks pretty nice. Let's check that hard light again. It's a little softer. And linear light is a little crisper. I'm thinking linear is too far. Let's go ahead, we'll use the hard light. There we go, a real nice look. Now it's beginning to get a little bit blocky in here maybe. It's a soft look, which is okay for this kind of portrait. Anyway, I might want to have that. But we can do one last step to make this exactly perfect. I'm going to take all these layers. These are the layers that we have changed in here. And let's put these into a group. Now this is in your later versions of Photoshop Elements. Earlier versions won't have the group. But for this one, let's go ahead and put this in a group. There we go. And then simply bring down the opacity a little bit of this group. And we're going to show a little bit of that background through that. I'll put it at about 75. And I think that's going to look real nice. Let's see how we're doing here. There's our before. And here's our after. 
before and after. And I think we have a real nice job here on removing the noise out of this photograph. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more great videos like this, take a look at my channel. I have loads of videos for Photoshop Elements. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, I also have a training course all about how to do this, and you'll find a link for that in the description. And I'll see you next time.